strides off, confident onto the team. Right, hello everybody and welcome down to Formby Hall Golf Resort and Spa. We're on the par three course today and today we're just going to have a bit of a fun challenge, a one club challenge on the par three. We've got holes three, four and five coming up that are all playing about 140 yards. So it would be very easy, Tom, for us to pick what a no, nine iron or an eight iron because it's 140. No, Sorry no. if you do get any road noise, guys. The uh, the bypass is just there. So what I've decided to will do is go seven irons, and then we've got to learn to sort of manipulate them a little bit and play different shots, grip down it, take some off, and control the iron instead of just the perfect distance for the club. So seven irons. How far is this one? Uh, 142. 142. We'll have. We'll go Stableford just so it's not too embarrassing for us. Wow, they're ripping down that bypass. If you haven't, guys, as well, do check out Formby Hall's par three course. If you were up in the north, it is a fantastic place to come and place to come and practice and play. It's beautiful. Luckily, we've got the old current bun out in the sun, in the sky up there somewhere. And we're gonna go for it. So, 140, what was it? 142. 142. Tom Theron Golf, if you don't already guys, do go and follow him on his Instagram. With a coach down at Trafford. Seven iron. Let's see what he can do. That's a delightful little shot. Down. Down. Bit big. A little long. I'm I'm quite looking forward to playing mine. Well with a seven iron with the P790s that are like a five <laughs> iron. 140, I'm gonna have to hit a flop. That's what I'm thinking, so probably can't see it from here. There's an upslope going up, so I might try and chase it up there a little bit because I don't think I can get it high and cutty enough to do that. So we're gonna play a bit of a, a chip and run at 140. <laughs> it's the normal shot, isn't it? Chip and run 140. <laughs> so down the grip, middle of the stance, a bit more arms orientated. Catch the hill, catch it. Oh, We're all right. <laughs> Seem to be rehearsing quite a, an open face shot there, Tom. Just a little. Uh, so, through, through so into the bunker. To go. Add a load of loft, open your body, is this? A little bit behind this. I'll be quite impressed if he gets this to within sort of 15, 15 foot. I'll be happy if I don't The boy's got skills. If I don't end up in the lake over there. I like your confidence. All about that PMA for my viewers. Sit, 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 sit. Uh, just running off down the slope. I did that really well. I'm lucky. <laughs> the cruelty of the one club challenge. So you've just literally fired just over it, caught the slope. Lucky to stop, but seven iron. You've got a little bit of a bump in front of you there, then going up onto the green. It's going to go left to right on me a little. Left to right. Is it just land it pretty much level with my ball and let it? That's it. Just get up the hill and release out. Let's see what he can do. He needs up and down. It's a little bit bold. <laughs> He's struggling. He's so struggling. Strong with this one, aren't I? Okay. You've got practice written on your ball at illegal. No, it's uh, no, no. it's not one of them. You grab this for me, sir. I'm just going to pull this black club out. That look, it says it's got 58 on it, but no. <laughs> so it's the plan. I'm obviously a little bit close. I'm gonna. I'm either adopting either a little open face and just try and land it three or four yards and let it run, or try and put it almost. Let it just a couple of bounces and, and go. So I 
think I'll go with a couple of bounces and go root, stack the shaft up so it's almost like a putter, putter grip, little bump. Great touch. I was going to ask you about the brake on it, but I didn't think you forgot about that bit. I didn't think that far ahead. <laughs> <laughs> My brain's not quite that advanced to get brake and change a seven iron into a putter. <laughs> Are you going flagging? Uh, it's leaning. It's leaning my way, take it out for me. Alright, what's this for? To save the bogey. So this is yet for four to save the bogey. Save the four. That's alright folks. So for a four, he's blading it. Great roll. Ooh, it's gone bold. What's that put me on zero Stableford points? Zero Stableford points. We'll give you that one. We really struggled that time. Just, just off the tee where it put me in a terrible position. All right, so I've just made zero points on this hole. This is Mafra's par two points. Put I was almost the... at the point where I was going to line that up as if I had my putter out there. <laughs> but I don't think this will really put me on the back foot. I don't think I'm that good. Look at that roll. Solid three, solid three. Well then. So after one hole, zero points for Tom. Two points for myself. I actually quite enjoyed that little putter shot with the uh, with the seven iron then. Just stack the shaft up so it's quite vertical. Put a grip and then just let it pop out. Play it as if you were actually swinging your putter. Try that one at home. Okay, Tom, so 161, I'm going to give you the honour while I'm messing around. We're going over towards that flag there in the distance. Obviously, a 7 iron for you. Let's see what you can do, what are your plans here. 161, is that a sort of just grip down a bit and. Knock down a 7 iron, take, take 10 yards off it. It's pretty much the same shot as on the left one. Nice. We've got 146 carries in the front end of the green, so the back is. 146 to get over this trap on the left that we can just see here. I think a nice little fade you want to flat would be Bob on. It's faded it, but it's going a little bit to the right. See it bounce there. That balance shot. Okay, well, at least you're not chipping out of a bunker. I think I'm gonna, not going for my uh, bump and run tactic this time. I'm going to flight it a little bit more. Bit of a high fade off that trap. We called it. Could be going in. We called it. Oh, he's making just, this look easy. Took a little bit off it. Ah. So not worked out too bad, Thomas. I mean, seven eye, funnily enough. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't normally. Would you not? You're going a bit short of the green here. It goes up, you get to my ball, which is pretty much on the crest of the tier here, then goes up. We've got the flag. So, what are you doing, landing it a couple of feet in front of you and letting it run? Uh, a couple of feet on the green and then letting it roll up. Hopefully, it's going to go left and right if I can uh, read the green. Well, here's your chance now to gain back some of those points lost on the first. Nice touch he's had there. Oh. 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 Great shot. Gimme. That is a gimme indeed. Well done, sir. What's that saying? Um, something to champagne. What's that? That saying. Something yeah. something to champagne. Must be your, well, your generation, that, not is mine. It? Oh, right. I'm young compared to you. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Right, so up the chair, a little bit left to right. I've already given the line, so no excuses really. Wow. That's... There's a word for that. Rubbish. Pathetic? Yeah. 
Oh dear, oh dear. I'm not blaming the people watching this <laughs> it's so long. Right then. Pressure's on now. I need this. I didn't expect that. Oh, I'll give you that one. Quick break. <laughs> nope. Right, so you gave me that, so that was a four. So at that one point, you get two. Yeah, so Three that's points to two points. Three to two. Final hole. Big playoff. Big playoff hole here. Means a lot. It's like the worst putting display you've ever seen. Final hole of this one club challenge. 149 plays right in between the two lengths that we've already faced. The flag is there just over the trap. It's only 129 to get over that flag. Tommy going with a 7 iron, funnily enough. 7 iron again. What's your, what's your theory, what's your thoughts on this one? I'm going to try and start the left half of that bunker, cut it back a little to take a bit of distance off. And really just a bit of a chippy swing. Yeah, sorry about the uh, road noise again. Rude. I'm going to have to make a two out of three because you're... Uh, One actually, point. I'm going to have to make a two. You're going to have to make two to put the pressure on. So Tom's saying over the left side of the uh, bunker here, which is like there, fade it onto here. 149, so it's like a three-quarter one. Open the face. You can see he's got his body open to help him swing across with the face, just pointing at that bunker now. Oh, that's majestic. He's pured it though. He's pured it. Caught a piece of green. I like it. I was quite happy with the strike and the. Uh, you did a lot of what you said, it, it just, just held cut. up. Did. There must be wind. That's the only excuse. Yeah. Can't be my fault. I'm going to uh, simulate that works so well for you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to follow suit. You might call me a copycat. Can only really fade it. Right then. Face just on the edge of the bunker, body left, lay it open, chop it up. Well, you did say you were going to follow me. It's the exact line. Look too much off it. Damn rock! Whatever they're called, the P790s, <laughs> tricking the P7 me. P7 rockets. Yeah, I was going to say rocket blades, and that would have been a little bit. Uh, what, when were rocket blades? 2008. A long time ago. Uh, yeah, yeah 10 maybe. All comes down to this, Tom. I'm making it. Ball one, flag. Ball two, flag. The question is, do I blade it like a foot or bump and run it? I think you go chip with that. I'm tempted to chip mine even though it's on the green after that uh, <laughs> after, the after that shoddy display after uh, the last hole. So pretty much similar distance for me and Tom here and probably a little bit further actually. You just fix the holes in the green. That's it. Always repair your pitch marks folks. Any time today Tom we're... I mean, you, know. you stole my... Uh... Right, so obviously a seven eight. Again. Again. Uh, are you are you going chip and run with this? I am going chip and run. I would think it's more. Oh, nat yeah. I didn't do too bad on the last hole. Nearly it's went more in. natural, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty again, pretty flat surface here for Tom, all the way up to the flag. Probably going to land it what three four feet in front of you. Yeah, not too far. Probably yeah, about six feet. Six feet. I don't want to leave it short. It's got to go in. Back here. Is where he'll roughly be landing it. I'm thinking he should go switch left to right on it. Takes his uh, takes his chips very seriously. Yeah. Ooh, bold landed it probably six foot past go. where I said. Right, hand you this one over. I'll show you how it's done. Are you chipping or are you uh? Chipping. Like that one from the first hole that did so well with. 
See, I'm, I'm not going to give you that one because I need it. I, want, I mean, if you were giving me that, you'd be probably more generous than we've been on any other vlog. <laughs> right then, real test of time here now. Do you want to go first to get out of the way? No, we want to, we want to build the suspense. Just get around here as the shadows start to form. Beautiful, beautiful day out here today. We've actually just got like one t-shirt and one jumper on each. It's unbelievable. After the snow last week. Right, looks like he's almost going to chip this. Oh no, he's blading it. Tap it in. Four. Yeah. One point. One point, so. Basically, I need you to three whack. I'm not going to lie, it's possible with a, <laughs> with a seven iron. I'm going to get really close to put the pressure on. Might have to work on this Texas wedge after this. Easy work. Oh. Easy work. That was solid. Is that two pars and a bogey? Two pars and a bogey. And the you bogey was the one was the best fast. the best shot that I hit. <laughs> Right guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Just a little bit of a fun one there as we're down on the course. Also, do give it a try yourself. Maybe if you can play a few holes like these shorter ones with one club, it's gonna make you think a little bit more about what you've gotta do and start to get a little bit creative with the shots that you're playing. Instead of just playing your same full out shot every time, just making a full swing, It'll make you think a little bit more and you'll have to work the ball in a different way. So hopefully it should bring your skill levels up a little bit. Thanks for watching this video. If you haven't already, do go and follow Tom on Instagram. Follow me on all my social media platforms. A big thank you as well to Formby Hall for letting us come down and play today. It has been a gorgeous, gorgeous day out here. Hit the subscribe button and I'll see you soon with more videos to help you improve your game. How do you feel? I mean, I shouldn't be leaving for church, should I? <laughs> <laughs>